Hey fellow Genshin F2Ps and Swipeys, it's your boy Josh, and today we actually have an interesting little thought experiment that I wanted to run through with you guys. Right in front of our screens, we have the two newest sets that are coming with the 2.6 Chasm update. We have the Echoes of the Offering, and then later we're going to talk about the Vermilion hereafter. But I wanted to run through this fun little thought experiment, this fun little theory that I created over the past week or so as the new updates and as the new teasers are rolling out. So let's look at the echoes of an offering, specifically the four piece set bonus. When normal attacks hits an opponent, there's a 36% chance it'll trigger Valley Right, which will increase normal attack damage by 70% attack. Generally, the math has actually worked out too. Once every two hits, you'll be able to averagely trigger this echoes of an offering passive. Now, this set in particular realistically doesn't work with a lot of characters. It works with very, very fast normal attacking characters, namely Ayato, but can also work with characters like Tartaglia, Yoemia, maybe even like a, a Razor or Eula. Next, let's actually talk about the Vervillian hereafter. And this set is even more glaringly for one particular character, the four piece set. Bonus is after using an elemental burst, this character will gain a nascent light effect or passive, increasing their attack by 8% for 16 seconds. And when the character's HP decreases, their attack will further increase by 10% up to a maximum of four times. Now, the only character that has an elemental burst that has a consistent drain mechanic is, uh oh, Zhao. As you guys can see, these two particular sets, the Vermilion Hereafter and the Echoes of an Offering, these are super, super niche. These are specifically for one character and then maybe, you know, it's like a B tiered for two or three other characters. When it comes to the progression of Genshin, of course, like it's mo more or less going to get more niche as we go forward, but it is too early in Genshin's development to be this directed with their artifacts at, especially because of the really, really bad RNG that Genshin has implemented. And whatever Genshin says of how fair their artifacts, you know, set RNG is, it's just, it's not, right? The, the math works out statistically, you're not getting good sets averagely. So this is where the fun begins. Now, Genshin just announced their two newest characters to be brought into Genshin 2.7, the teasers of Kuki Shinobu and, and more specifically, the character I wanted to talk about, Yelan. She is of Lia origin and she is a Hydro, most likely five star and also most likely a bow user. Genshin has never really introduced a set before a character. However, this might be the first iteration of Genshin's, you know, process of introducing certain mechanics, certain equips, certain weapons before the certain character. And of course, the character also comes with an exclusive weapon, but realistically, we've never seen such niche sets like the EO or Vermilion. So when it comes to characters like Yelan or Kuki Shinobu, who we have no idea what they do, maybe we could assume that Yelan has a kit that allows her elemental burst to drain her HP in order to maybe infuse some of her attacks, maybe to change up her normal attack rotation, maybe to, uh, you know, change up or alter, manipulate her her E skill into something different or into a, a higher tier of, of, of what it is. Or maybe it's just, it drains her HP for a couple seconds in order to, to dish out some crazy form of damage, which would be super, super cool. Or she could also be of the normal attack orientation where she, you know, quickly attacks, but you know, that's more resemblant of a Tartaglia than anything. So I really hope that Yellen's not just a carbon copy of Tartaglia, even though her weapon class and her elemental class are the same. We don't really know much about these two characters, neither do we know much about Kuki Shinobu, although, you know, Kuki Shinobu's title is the Mender of Tribulations. People are speculating that Mender, she could be a healer character, which would be super cool. She would be one of the first true electro support characters 
uh, other than, you know, the utilities that, you know, Cooter Zara or an Elemental Traveler brings to, uh, to a team call. So I want to see what you guys think about these characters. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys thought of this interesting, you know, theory, this thought experiment. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, we'll get back to more Genshin 2.6 updates very, very soon. Oh, yeah. Also, I'm going to pull Ayato. So if you guys would like to check out my poll session, make sure you guys head over to twitch.tv slash nachoshua. I'll be pulling pretty much at the drop of the update. So, hey, see you guys then. Peace out.